Number 1. Customs transit within customs territory is allowed for goods except those intended for A. Warehousing B. Consumption C. Export D. All of the above Number 2. Customs transit within customs territory when allowed under Section 600 CMTA may refer to the transportation from A. Port of entry to another as exit for outright exportation B. A port of entry to another or inland customs office C. Inland customs office to port of entry as exit for outright exportation or D. All of the above Number 3 Customs Office within Customs Territory, when allowed under Section 600 CMTA, may refer to transportation from one port of entry or inland customs office to another port of entry or inland customs office. A transit permit is required for goods transported under customs transit. A. Only the first statement is false. B. Only the second statement is false. C. Both statements are true. Or D. Both statements are false. Number 4. In case of customs transit within customs territory under Section 600 CMTA, transfer of goods from one means of transport to another is allowed provided A. Any custom seal or fastening is not broken or tampered. B. Payment of duties, taxes, and other charges has been made. C. Permit from the collector subsequently approved by the commissioner is secured or D. All of the above. Number 5. Among the following obligations of the party responsible for customs transit under Section 600 CMTA is or are the following. A. Observe the period for delivery of the goods. B. Ensure that goods are presented intact at customs office of destination. C. Follow prescribed itinerary for delivery of the goods or D. All of the above.